Hi everyone, I'm Debbie, and I'm here to share my network learning project with you. I'm currently taking classes at Michigan State University, and my first class, Teaching for Understanding with Technology, asks us to learn to do something we've always wanted to know how to do using only YouTube and online help forums. I decided I wanted to build floating shelves from scratch. There's one thing you need to know about me. I'm a bit of a cat fanatic. My three cats already have a pretty good climbing system. They can go from the cat tree, across the entertainment center, and onto the shelves on the back of the door. What I wanted to do was add shelves to the wall so they can continue their path to behind the couch. My plan was to put two small shelves on the wall, one long one up above the window, and another small one coming down to the other side. Eventually, I will put in a corner shelf, but that is a project for another day. I spent a lot of time watching different YouTube videos. I also read through some online forums about woodworking. I found the YouTube videos to be the most helpful. My final design came from the video by Anthony Morgan. I loved his design and his video was helpful. I even contacted him through YouTube and he responded with an answer to my question. I will link his video below. After lots of research and planning, I was ready to get started. I took my list and headed to the store. So many choices. What's a girl to do? I decided to let the experts do the cuts on my plywood. He sure makes that look easy. Getting home, gotta unload all my stuff. Wood. Drill, drill bit, magnet, tape measure, screws, more screws, safety goggles, and we're good to go. Time to get to work! Using the table saw was intimidating at first, but I gained confidence as I worked. Hanging the prototype was very exciting. Would I be able to find the wall stud? Would the shelf hold? Would the cats like it? Success! And now for the finishing touches. Cut one by three to use as finishing boards around the front of the shelves. Cut the carpet to add to the top. Nail gun to secure the carpet. Attach the finished shelf to the cleat on the wall using screws. And we're done. After getting through the first shelf, the rest were a lot easier. My confidence grew the more I worked. The first one is mostly done, waiting for the wood glue to set. Going to move on to the uh, next attempt. Hi everyone, I'm back. Uh, having completed a good portion of my project, I learned a lot. It was a lot of fun. Using YouTube and online help forums is something I've done before, but it really was interesting to try and do it to learn a hands-on skill. It's not something I've done before. So that was really fun. The shelves are complete. We got the carpet on. We got the front panels going on. Uh, but as you can see behind me, an unexpected home improvement project sprouted up. So I'm gonna have to wait for the install on the walls until that's completed. I'm gonna paint the walls and it's gonna look pretty nice. I'm hoping to use the paint to, to paint the outside of this as well. And it should be a good time. Um, I learned a lot from this project. Um, it was really difficult to think about a whole new language that goes on with woodworking. I wasn't, wasn't ready for that. I didn't realize that there was vocabulary that I totally had to try and figure out as I was going through the process. Um, and the one thing I would say made it difficult was not being able to have a person there with me when I was cutting the wood the first time, using the tools for the first time. I think I was a little insecure. If I had somebody there telling me, hey, you're doing this right or this wrong, I think it would have been a little bit easier. But overall, it was really um, a very fun process, um, very rewarding, something I could see using in the future with my students. And um, I hope you enjoyed my video. Talk to you later.